What's up, guys? It's Jared with Jared's Polishing. Wanted to do a little uh, unedited, uncut, uh, little review video of the Fresh Air Respirator by Allegro. Um, I had a ton of guys message me. Uh, I put this in my Instagram story this week. Um, this was my first week using this. Um, I've actually owned this system for almost two years. I used it one time on the hottest day of the year. Um, inside my shop at that time was not insulated. So we had a major greenhouse effect. It probably was at least 110 degrees inside the shop. Um, I used it that one time and uh, that was it. I got frustrated with it and uh, it's been a long time and figured I'd uh, give it a second chance. Um, this is the normal respirator we normally use. It's just a 3M. Um, I notice a lot of polishers are using this style respirator. Um, everybody is still getting their face dirty. Technically, your face shouldn't be getting dirty if this respirator is working to its 110% full um, I guess you can call it full, uh, I don't know, filtering. Um, what I am noticing, I've been in the polishing industry for a long time. Number one, everything gets dirty. Uh, you notice my hands, this is just from literally touching this table that sits in our shop or piece of scaffolding actually. Um, most of what I think your face is getting dirty from is number one, just the touching and rubbing of your face throughout the day. If your sleeves are dirty, as mine are, you rub your face. Obviously, it smears it around your face, instantly getting your face dirty. The second thing, I've used these where I haven't taken them off for hours and my face gets dirty. The main spot my face actually gets dirty is inside the uh, actual mouthpiece is way more dirty than where, uh, let's say, my, where my eyes would be. So we're normally running these uh, 6,000 RPM grinders. Uh, it would have a 10 inch wheel on it. That is a major um, fan source of turbulent air. Your face sometimes can be inches from these. So what I think is going on is underneath here is just a little rubber flap that stops the, uh, you know, this is where your dirty air comes out after it's filtered. I'm pretty sure this thing does not supply enough, uh, you know, pressure against here. And just that little bit of wind and, you know, in between when you're breathing and there's no pressure on this thing, I think it's opening up enough to let a decent amount of dirt and dust in. So you do get you know, some on your face. Obviously, any respirator is going to be better than not using anything at all. So again, this is my first week with this. Um, I'll go over some pros and cons with you. This, um, this system is really nice. Um, I think I got it for, again, it was about two years ago. It was about 900 bucks. It came with the mask, the pump, which I'll show you in a second. Um, 100 feet of hose and uh i think that is about it um i definitely like the vision in this the vision is much better because you don't have this big uh nose piece there is no nose piece in this which also helps for the comfort around your nose that is definitely nice um the cool air that is blowing in is really nice um, after you take the mask off, you do get a little weird sense that you were sitting in front of a fan. So your face might be a little, uh, I don't know if I'd call it tingly, but a little different feeling. Um, so that's nice. So your fresh air obviously comes in through this hose, comes with a, a belt loop, a little, uh, roach clip. You can clip it to your, uh, shirt and then just like a belt strap. I noticed if I'm sitting down doing wheels or sitting, I like it run over my shoulder and down my back. But if I'm actually standing and polished, I'll actually loop this across the front of me 
and down across the front. Um, it seemed to be a little more comfortable while standing and buffing like that. Um, this also has, I don't know if I can get it off here, but it has a very similar uh, flap setup. But this is getting forced fresh air in it at all times. So it should always have positive pressure inside that mass to not let or uh, let less um, dirty or turbulent air get back into that mask. I've used this, uh, this was my first week, like I had said, but uh, I think I've only used about three days this week. A major noticeable difference in how clean my face is compared to this mask, major. So can you put a price on safety? Uh, I don't think you can. Even these masks are going for, depending on which one you buy, they go from usually 150 bucks all the way up to about 300 bucks. So for 900, um, again, you can't really put the price on safety. If this is gonna save you, especially if you're doing this stuff every day, you know, even if that you cut it down by half, over your lifetime, that is going to be a, a, a huge difference. Um, let me show you the pump quick, and then we're going to go back to this mask because I want to talk to you uh, about a few more things about this. So I'll show you my pump setup. So this is all just temporary. This is uh, our first time setting it up. Um, notice all the dead grinders in the background. A little messy in here. But I just have it set over here on the ground because, again, I wasn't sure if I was really going to like it. Um, I was just giving it another chance. Right now I have it ran um, up. I have the hose ran up. I made a zip line in my shop with uh, to keep the hose off the ground. So it's just on this little zip line. Um, helps keep a lot of it up off the ground. Um, I got that idea from Bob over at uh, Chemex actually. Definitely check that guy out. Got some real good stuff. Um, but anyways, the zip line definitely helps. There's always stuff on the floor, lead cords and everything tripping over. Um, we are going to mount this probably up on the wall, get it up out of the way. And then I want to plumb where it actually sucks in the air. We're going to plumb that. It does have a filter, but I'm going to plumb that right outside to get it out of the shop. Um, it's got a pressure gauge and whatnot. Um, again, this kit came with a hundred feet of hose. My shop's 80 foot. It seems like that's more than enough hose to get around trucks. Um, so downfalls of this system that I've learned so far. Number one, there is no on and off switch with this thing. It just, when you plug it in, it's on. And when you unplug it, it's off. Um, I, I can't. I don't even understand what the cost saving effect that was or what their theory is. Maybe people can't walk by and turn the switch off, but I mean, I don't know. Um, there's no on and off switch. It's always on, um, which isn't a big deal because it, it's quite quiet, but it's just a nuisance of unplugging it and plugging it in. Again, I'm going to make a uh, shelf on the wall for this. It's going to be in its permanent spot. We're gonna, um, we're either gonna hardwire this in or we're gonna make it so it has its own plug with a switch right next to it. So the switch will actually, it'll always be plugged in, but the switch itself will, you know, send power to the plug. Um, that'll help with that. That's really my only gripe with the pump system itself is the fact that there is no switch. All right, let's go back over to that mask. We'll talk about that more. So the mask, um, again, I've been wearing these, the 3M for years. Um, the quality of these masks and the, uh, the comfort is, is great. Again, like I said, uh, the no nose piece helps this mask out. But as far as the fit on your face and the seal, the 3M has it all day long. I don't know who came up with this design, but they, they definitely didn't use the mass much so the 3m has this just solid seal all the way around fits your face very nice you never have any pressure points or anything like that 
this mass, the number one, the whole size is much smaller for your face. And it has like this dual seal and it it's super uncomfortable. Um, it's not intolerable, guys. I mean, like I said, I've only used this three days, but they're both, you know, eight, 10 hour days. It wasn't super bad, but for something that you're gonna have to use every day, I'm definitely gonna try to look into figuring something out with a better mask. Again, this is the one that just came with the pump, but it is um, their, their style. So the hose only fits this mask. I already tried to maybe rig up something, you know, unplug one of these filters and run the same style setup into this mask. Take the nose piece out and just, cause this mask, it, it's way more comfortable than this one. Um, and just the fit on your face is better. So they definitely need to look into that. I don't know, again, this is a two year old system. Hopefully they've improved. Maybe they have a better one, but you never know. Um, so other than that, the, the dual seal thing and the fit on your face is a little weird. Um, and then just the switch on the pump. Those are the only things I would change on this setup. But uh, again, I had uh, probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 guys reach out to me, ask me how I like this, would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. Again, guys, the safety aspect of it, if you're gonna be a full-time polisher or any, uh, anything you're using that might harm you, this is worth it all day long. Um, we just, you just got a couple bugs to figure out. Like I said, I just came up with that zip line idea. Um, you know, I got the idea from Bob there, but just the idea to get the hose off the ground. Cause I didn't want to be tripping over another hose in the shop or another line or another lead cord. So just doing that simple thing and thinking of it, um, helped out and you just got to figure out that those few obstacles just by watching this video, you guys will be uh, a couple steps ahead of the game. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you're new and uh, follow me over there on Instagram at Jared's Polishing. Thanks guys.